All right, there's been a lot of talk about measles lately after two confirmed cases recently cropped up here in Connecticut. Let's go to naturopath physician, Dr. Jared Scourin. He is here to talk prevention and treatment and all things measles. Good morning to you. Good to have you in. Hey, Carolyn. So this is something, you know, uh, the vast majority of people have been getting vaccinated for measles for a long time. Right. So we're a little rusty maybe on, on what the deal is with measles. Uh, catch us up, first of all. What do parents need to know about this or anyone in general? Well, the first thing to know is measles is a very contagious illness. So okay. you need to know what the signs and symptoms are in case you or your child gets it. Yeah. Because young children who have not been vaccinated are at risk, and even people who have been vaccinated that are immunocompromised can get measles as well. So, oh, that's interesting. So even if you have the vaccine, if there are other issues, the vaccine may not work for you. In, in rare cases, it can. So you okay. need to know the symptoms to look for. Tell us so what the symptoms are. Usually measles is, uh, has normal virus symptoms. So okay. you get a fever, you don't feel very well, you get a sore throat, and you get a cough. But what's special to certain viral illnesses like measles is you get this full body rash. So mm. it starts on the face and it works its way down to the chest, the torso, and the arms. But what's really unique about measles is you also get the rash inside the cheek. And these are known as coplic spots. So if you look inside your child's cheek and you see these little red dots, you should probably go to your physician because you can get blood tests to confirm that this may be measles. If you're looking at this rash on a child, is there any way you don't know that, like, could it be something else or is it very clear there is a very active rash going on here and this is probably something I haven't seen before? Is that what parents are going to think? Well, the rash is very, very obvious. When okay. you get this, this, all these red circles all up and down your chest and your arms and your face. However, there are other really common viruses that also give these rashes too. So just because you have a rash doesn't mean it's measles, you should go get tested. And there is a way to confirm this, right? Is it through a blood test? Very simple blood test that you can get through your physician can confirm whether you not have measles or some other virus. Okay, so good information here. I know our parents and, and people at home are probably thinking, okay, so how can I try to prevent this or how can I treat this? And you've got some good ideas here. Well, exactly. And what we really strongly suggest is what the World Health Organization uses mm -hmm. to treat and prevent measles across the world. Because what we really need to treat are the complications. People can get diarrhea, people can get pneumonia, and in very rare cases, somebody can die. So we need to prevent that. And what the World Health Organization has found is people who have good levels of vitamin A reduce those complications by 50%. Just by having a good level of vitamin A. And of course, exactly. that is something you can take. That is something you can take. So okay. what we recommend for everybody is get your vitamin A levels tested. Because even well-nourished children here in Connecticut, if they don't eat their vegetables, they won't have enough vitamin A. Oh, what kid doesn't eat their vegetables? None. Not at all. <laughs> um, so get your vitamin A levels tested. You can get supplemented with that. And I also brought some of the foods that have the highest levels of vitamin A. So when ah, you think okay. vitamin A, you think orange. So anything right. orange, sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkins, those have high levels of vitamin A. And my favorite is spinach. Spinach has high levels of almost every vitamin and mineral you can think of. So get your child eating these things now. Boost your vitamin A levels, supplement if you need to, so you can prevent a bad case of measles if you do contract one. What great information. Thank you so much. And hopefully nobody deals with measles, but the fact is we've had a couple cases here, so we all have to be uh, really vigilant and be aware of this. Thank yep. you so much for coming in. Thanks, We Carly. appreciate it.